today I'm going to be going over my suspension, electrical installation, and transmission installation. The computer I'm running is a Haltac Platinum Sport 1000 and I bought it from the same person that I bought uh, the rest of my turbo setup from and it's already wired for an M42. Um, I'm just trying to sort it out, probably clean up some of the wiring and figure out where I'm going to mount everything. I figured out where all the wires go and what everything does but there is a lot of extra wire everywhere so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed the connectors through the firewall um, and then kind of mock up where I'm gonna mount the things that are gonna be in the car in the car and then I will figure out the engine bay wiring itself <music> to do is I zip tied the computer itself to the old ECU mounting bracket and that's going to go back where it came from and these fuses or these relays in this fuse blocks fuse block I'm going to mount to the back of this or the underside of this slash back of it so that way I have easy access to everything and then I'm gonna pre pre plug in the USB cable to the ECU and just have it sitting in the glove compartment so that way I can put this cover back on uh, but still be able to plug in to tune it very easily without having to take anything apart. Alright so the ECU came with a lot of extra wiring so I just tucked most of it up here behind this panel it's just kind of some open space in the dash and then uh, I'm gonna start wiring everything else all right so that's what the uh, under panel looks like done I switched these around because I realized that these correspond with these perfectly um, so it goes ECU injectors ignition fuel ECU injectors ignition fuel and I'm just gonna print a label that I'll tape up here um, to kind of make everything just look nice, like a, as OEM as possible. So now I'm just gonna put everything back together. I'm pretty happy with how this came out. See relays, fuses right there. And my USB cable. I'm still gonna have to run the, the vacuum tube uh, to the ECU, but other than that, it looks pretty good. So I came to the realization that I still need parts of my original wiring harness to start the car and to charge the battery with the alternator. So I'm gonna take this and rip it apart and find out what I 
need and don't need. I'll try to simplify it before I throw it on the engine. So that's what I'm left with. I deleted all three relays as well as a whole lot of wiring. I'm gonna leave it uh, bare like this until I start the car uh, because some of these things might need to be adjusted and I don't wanna go through all the work of sleeving everything only to find out that I messed something up. So what I am keeping is there's a wire for the tack, switched power, um, I need to wire ABS power. Um, I have a wire for the check engine light. I don't know if, if uh, the Haltech has that. Um, speed output. So I'm, not, I'm also not sure if the Haltech has an input for speed. And then coolant temp. It does need that. And then these are my crank position sensor and cam position sensor. And then just ground and power for... Uh, alternator and starter and that's it I ended up bringing it into my living room and opening up the electrical troubleshooting guide for a 92 318 IC because that's the only real E30 M42 electrical troubleshooting guide there is so I was able to find what every single wire did able to delete almost all of it um, yeah, really happy with how, how uh, much I was able to cut it down. It will clean up the engine bay really well, only having a couple wires here and there. Since I'm going to be using a M20 flywheel, I need a M20 starter. Now, I have one ordered, but I'm impatient and I don't feel like waiting a week for it to come, and I'm still on vacation right now, so I'm going to pull a brand new one that I installed in my convertible uh, a few months back and use that one, and then when the new one comes, I'll put that in the convertible in the spring. Luckily, I've replaced this starter five times now, and it's the reason I don't have any starters anymore. Um, I had a bunch laying around the house from parting out cards, and I swapped them all out into this car. None of them worked. The gears kept binding, so I eventually just bought a new one, and it works great. So, I'm going to pull it out and uh, use it. So I got the starter out. Um, only to find out it will not work with my M20 flywheel. And I believe the reason for that is this M20 flywheel is out of a 325iX. And everything I've read online says that an iX M20 flywheel is the same as a regular M20 flywheel. Um, apparently that's not the case. So that also explains why none of the starters I tried in my convertible this summer worked uh, because they were all from iXs that I had parted out. So I ordered an IX starter, um, it's at, like, auto, I ordered it from Advanced Auto, uh, they have it today, I'll probably go pick it up tomorrow and, and put it all together. Um, I'm really sick today, so I don't really want to do any driving, and I don't really want to be in the garage too much anyway, but yeah, so IX flywheel, IX M20 flywheel is a different flywheel than a regular M20 flywheel. So since the six-speed transmission is longer, the shifter carrier 
needs to get brought forward. Um, but I need to figure out how much I need to cut out of here. So I mounted everything up to both transmissions. I'm gonna put a level across here and then measure the distance. Looks like we're looking at an inch and a half plus two inches, so three and a half inches. That's the difference from here to here. So I'm gonna take this apart, cut it, um, and then I'll probably make a bracket to screw on the outside, and then um, try to make. Maybe make it adjustable, uh, just in case my method of measuring doesn't work, because uh, it doesn't take into account the angle it's going to be at. So I was gonna make a bracket, but what I decided to do was cut the three inch section I took out, I cut this the bridge out of it, and I'm gonna use those pieces here, and then the one on the other side, and then I'm just gonna bolt it together with some M6 stainless hardware. All right, there it is, at least uh, for now. I only, for whatever reason, bought four pieces of hardware. Um, I need eight, so I'll pick some more up from the hardware store. And this should work fine temporarily. Uh, this is mostly just so I can get around the driveway and maybe drive it to the tuner. Um, my end goal is to make a chassis mount shifter, but I want to be able to start the car and move it around, so. This will work temporarily because that's going to be a pretty big project. Um, I used nylon nuts here so there's no chance of them vibrating loose. Um, it feels pretty strong. It's not not much force gets put on these anyway. Uh, I'd be more worried about the the selector rod, but who knows? So we'll try it out, see if it works. All right, so let's see how we ultimately did. That's pretty perfect in my book. So the next thing I have to tackle is the selector rod. Um, I could make a DSSR, uh, but again, if I'm gonna make a chassis mount, I guess I'd still want one then. Uh, I might just do what BMW did, cut this here, squish it flat up here, or squish it flat down here like up here, and then just get a, like a nut or a, a bolt that's got a, a standoff or whatever, and then that should work. in the vise. Hey. 
there we go so now I'm probably gonna put it on the mill and uh, drill the hole out with it just so it's accurate I'll go to the hardware store and see what I can find for a bolt now that I've got the correct M20 starter I can put my clutch and flywheel together I didn't resurface my flywheel uh, no real reason other than time and me being lazy. So something's not right here. This this is sitting above this. If I were to put that on, like so. Okay, so it looks like I'm at a standstill now. The clutch I ordered for the six speed, the holes don't line up with the M20 holes. And that's irrelevant anyway because the flywheel that this clutch for the six speed is made for, the surface that it touches is recessed down from where it mounts to. So the M20 flywheel won't work at all. Uh, so I have a friend that's gonna let me try an M52 flywheel and if that works then I'll use that um, I might try to see if I can find a, a salvage yard that I can get the original flywheel from uh, probably the same salvage yard that I got the transmission from uh, if I do that then I'm gonna need to order a starter for it because now the M20 starter that I just got probably won't work so yeah I don't know if I'll have it done by this weekend so we'll see if anyone has any input on mounting up this six speed to a M42, which has, it's essentially the same as a M50 or M52, let me know.